my friend. How are you? Anything new? Look how big I am. Earlier I was a small seed, but now I am loaded with fruits. I enjoy eating your fruits and they are very very yummy. Thank you. Whenever you throw the leftover fruit, seeds fall on the ground and grow into a tree like me. How is that possible? Don't you know that trees and plants grow out of these seeds? When a seed falls on the ground and it gets water, sunlight and air in the required amount, it grows into a plant or a tree. Do you know how seeds reach from one place to another? Can you guess? Hmm, look at these birds. When the birds eat fruits, some of the seeds fall here and there. Some get excreted out of their body undigested. Wherever these seeds fall, they can grow into plants. Do you want to know something interesting about these seeds? Look at these. These seeds are so light that even wind can blow them away. And that's how, my friend, seeds disperse from one place to another. Not only this, some seeds like that of the coconut, water lily and lotus can even float on water. You will be surprised to know about Amaltis. It has seeds enclosed in pods. When these pods ripen, they burst with a loud sound, scattering to far off places. Even animals help in seed dispersal. Look at this monkey burying a mango seed. Don't you think the right amount of water, sunlight and air will make it grow as well? Have you ever come across a beggar tick plant? Its seed has a hook-like structure that helps it to disperse by sticking to the hair of animals or human clothing. We humans also play a role in seed disposal. This child threw the leftover apple after eating a small part of it. The seeds of this leftover fruit have a potential to grow into plants. So friends, have you also learnt how a seed can move from one place to another? Let's have a quick recap. Now come on, it's activity time. Let's see if you can guess. By looking at their structure, identify which medium the seeds will travel from one place to another. You may write the correct answers in your notebooks. Now, it's your turn to grow plants. Take any four types of seeds and grow them in pots or in your garden. Draw a table like this and don't forget to note their germination time. Friends, in how many days did the seeds grow to a length of more than 1 cm, 2 cm and 3 cm of the respective plants? Fill this information in this table. Can you think of some art and craft work that you can do using these seeds? Try to create something beautiful. <laughs>